It looks like the next promo in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team is going to be the team of the group stage promo and in this video today we're going to take a look at which players could be featuring in it. In theory this promotion should drop on Friday so I guess that's something to look forward to. As per usual be active in the comments below let me know which players you think should feature in this. Also let me know once you've seen my predictions who I'm going to get right, who I'm going to get wrong and also let me know who you feel that I have missed out. If you could leave like creating another video that would really help the channel as well. If you need to some coins to improve your team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market and don't forget to use the code Kieran to get yourself a discount at the checkout. There's a chance to win some free coins just by clicking the link in the description too. So let's jump straight into things and we're going to start with Ajax's forward Sebastian Haller who has had a very, very good tournament so far. He's actually one of the top goal scorers in the tournament as well. So with that in mind, like just that alone, I think he's got a very good chance. Um, nine goals. Yeah, you heard me right. Nine goals in five games. Um, also, two assists for the forward as well. And with Ajax sitting pretty on top of their group, like there's no way this doesn't happen. This card has to happen, and hopefully he does get a big notable boost as well because, uh, yeah, he has had an incredible tournament so far. Like... Scoring obviously got himself a goal against uh, two goals against Besiktas, um, a couple of goals against Dortmund as well. Obviously played them twice. He got two assists against Dortmund too, and uh, scored four against Sporting, which is pretty mad. So yeah, he's racking up the goals, and as I say, hopefully gets a very nice boost in Ultimate Team. Next player we're going to talk about is a bit of an odd one. It's Christopher Nkunku, and it's odd because Leipzig are out of the Champions League now. Mathematically, they cannot get out of their group with one game to go. They're currently sat in third. However, this guy has been incredible during the tournament. In five games, he scored seven goals and picked up an assist as well. He's one of the top scorers despite Leipzig going out. So um, can't be ignored in my opinion. And it's looking like Nkunku is going to be that player in FIFA 22 who just keeps getting special card after special card after special card and he's going to end up with a ridiculous end game item. Like in team of the season, he's going to have a ridiculous card that's going to be just, it's going to be like Hullet level stats. It really, really is because he's already fairly well rounded. So uh, yeah, another special card could be incoming for him this Friday. I do expect a Liverpool player to feature and I've gone for Mo Salah. He has scored six times, no assist for him, no direct assist for him anywhere, but still obviously heavily involved in that Liverpool attack. They're obviously uh, going through um, very easily. Five games, five wins, just easy for them. Um, and they're in a decent group. Like at the start when the groups were announced, to be in the same group as AC Milan and Atletico Madrid and Porto, you'd have thought it'd have been a bit more difficult for Liverpool, but they've literally blown the competition just completely out the water. So uh, yeah, job done. They'll definitely have a player in, maybe even two to be honest. It's kind of mad that we've got to the end of November and we don't actually have a special Lewandowski card in Ultimate Team. Not yet, but I get the feeling we might see one coming on Friday. Um, just in the Bundesliga alone, 14 goals in 13 games, one assist. Like, it's mad he hasn't had an inform. Um, but anyway, in the Champions League, five games, just a casual nine goals for him as well um, and an assist. So uh, yeah, I get the feeling Luan will be featuring. Um, obviously Bayern Munich have done pretty well in their group stage as well. They're already through with uh, Barcelona being eight points behind in second. So uh, yeah, Bayern are through and Luan should finally, finally get an extremely well-deserved special item on Friday, hopefully anywhere. Another one I'll be very surprised if he doesn't feature is Brozovic. Now, I know he's not the most glamorous of players, but he's picked up multiple Man of the Match awards so far in Inter Milan's Champions League campaign. So just off the back of that alone, I think he will be in. And obviously, Inter are looking good to qualify as well. So, yeah, another one that I would class as an easy pick. And when I say they're almost qualified, they are qualified. And they're currently in second, but uh, it's all wrapped up in that group. If you're a fan of Portuguese special items within the game, you're going to like these predictions because there's actually quite a few players from Portugal in them. One of them is João Cancelo, who has really thrived since uh, moving to the left-back row at Manchester City. Obviously, he's a right-footer, so it probably doesn't come too easy to him, but he's making it look, you know, pretty natural. So, fair play to him. Two goals and three assists for him in the Champions League so far. Not many clean sheets. Uh, Man City have actually conceded a lot in the Champions League, but they have just literally outscored their opponents. The goal difference is currently 17-8, to eight, so that's pretty mad. Anyway, Cancelo has been one of their star players, so I feel like he's got a good shot. Sporting, by all accounts, have had a decent Champions League run this year, and one of their star players has been Pedro, who, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that last year I was advocating for him to get special cards regularly because he was absolutely outstanding. But um, anyway, in the Champions League this year, he's got himself four goals and one assist 
assist. And I definitely think Sporting will have someone in the team at the group stage. I will say though, I did want to include um, Sebastian Coates because he's been really, really good for them as well. But since he's just recently, well not recently, but since he's got that rule breaker card and um, I just didn't fancy him getting another special card anytime soon. But I could be very wrong with that. As I say, Sporting have been class and uh, it'll either be Pedro or Coates in the team's group stage in my opinion. Now picking a player from Chelsea was actually quite tough because they have obviously had a pretty brilliant um, campaign so far and defensively they are the best team in the competition, only one goal conceded so far. Um, so I obviously needed a defensive pick from them, thought about Mendy but he's just had a special card, we'll talk about that again soon. So um, I was looking at defenders and it became a 50-50, I was either going to go Reese James or Andreas Christensen and like both of them could get in both of them like they both could be in or one or the other could be in it really is a 50 50 in my opinion in the end i've gone with reese james just because i think it would be the better card for ultimate team but wouldn't be surprised to see you know any of the other defenders from chelsea because as i say they've been outstanding so far in the comp we're going to have courtois in my predictions as well from real madrid he has the second well joint second most queen sheets in the champions league and also has a pretty high save rate as well and he's made some good stops during the air campaign too now, I know some people like Kieran, what about Mendy? He's been classed for Chelsea. He has. The whole of Chelsea's defence has been classed as well. But with Mendy being in signature signings, I don't think EA will put him in back-to-back -back promos. So um, we had to look for alternatives. And Courtois is a very good alternative, in my opinion. We could see another special Ronaldo item come into FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. And I think we will. And just one word, match winner. Like... He's literally won my United games in the Champions League by himself. And if he hasn't won them, them he's like saved them in them, like the Atlanta game the other week. So, yeah, he's going to be in. I'll be very, very shocked if uh, Ronaldo does not feature. And uh, I do suspect he will be, you know, the headlining player, especially with, you know, how much this guy is going to cost on the market. It'll probably be the same rating as the Player of the Month card, just because that's how things have gone in the past. But, um, yeah, six goals. Five games, I think he'll be in. It's not just the fact that he scored six goals either. It's the manner in which some of them have come. Like I said, some of them have been match winners and some of them have been to, you know, stop them from losing. Now, I don't know if we'll get two cards from my United in this promotion, but... It was really, really hard to think about leaving Bruno out because he's currently the top assist maker in the Champions League. So for that reason, I just had to include him by default. Also, to be fair, in the Champions League, he's been all right. He hasn't had the best season in the Premier League yet, but in the Champions League, he has been good. So yeah, I feel like this one could come maybe in like the mini release on the Saturday or Sunday, maybe not in the main team. Who knows what will happen? But um, yeah, I can understand why some people won't be too happy about seeing two Man United players in, but hopefully you can understand my reason for including two remember i'm predicting what i think ea will do and this will sell packs and ea loves selling packs so yeah maybe bruno is in as well and to be honest i'd be quite happy with that because i like his card in ultimate team and uh, definitely would not mind having an improved version in my club now there's quite a few players in this video who are just you know guaranteed like there's no debate on them but this next one is very highly debatable even me saying that after putting him in the video i wanted a player from uv because they're already through second in their group and they've had a decent run to be fair they've only lost um obviously to chelsea so because of that i feel like there could be an inclusion from uv it's just a case of picking which player will they go for they could go for the baller who scored the most goals for uv but most of them came in one game or they could go for someone like kiesa who's got two goals and a couple of decent performances under his belt. That's why I'm going for him. I'm not picking him with much confidence because I don't think there's a great chance of this one. But as I say, I did want an inclusion from UV because of obviously how they have already got through and uh, they've done it fairly dominantly aside from obviously that heavy loss to Chelsea. So those are my picks for the Champions League team of the group stage players. We're going to go on to the other competition soon. But first, I just want to quickly talk about Leroy Sane. I haven't included him in my predictions because he's got the road to the knockouts card. That's literally the only reason. And um, they could still very well include him, but I'm kind of hoping they don't. I would would rather have you know a different card instead because we've already got obviously a special Sane that can and probably will get some decent upgrades throughout the year because we do expect Bayern Munich to do quite well in this comp but um yeah if he did get in I wouldn't complain four goals and four assists in five games is a brilliant return and Sane would 100% deserve a team of the group stage card if EA choose to go with him okay so we now jump over to the Europa League and we do have a few players to discuss we are going to start with um Galena who's got himself five goals so far in the camp 
campaign, so Braga doing pretty well. I think him or Ricardo Horta could feature, and I've gone for the Brazilian winger. Could actually be a decent card, depending on how EA do indeed boost it. The current top goal scorer in the Europa League is Akambi, so he just seems a default pick for me. He's also got himself a couple of assists as well, so um, yeah, that card should in theory be coming, and could actually be an alright item, but uh, he's going to need a pretty significant dribbling boost, especially to compete with, obviously, the brilliant league and wingers that we already have in FIFA. And then the last player from the Europa League that we're going to discuss, or going to include at least, um, is going to be Florian Verts. Six goals and assists combined for him as well, so uh, hopefully he does feature. Um, hopefully EA boosts the card quite well. Obviously, he's got the player of the month card. Don't think he'll go above that, but um, hopefully they'll at least match it with him, just to, you know, make him a bit usable. The right word there wasn't usable. I meant just desirable, because oh, let's be honest, if this card is less than the player of the month card, no one's going to have much interest in it. Now, I don't think this will be a popular pick, but I'm going to go for it nonetheless. Aaron Cresswell's had a pretty good campaign in Europe, so of West Ham in general. They haven't lost yet, and they've only conceded twice. Um, Cresswell's played four games, got three assists, and been a part of two clean sheets. So, I'm going to throw him in. Also, is another option for a defender in the promo too. Over in the Conference League, we have Botheim, who's got eight goals and assists combined, so uh, he seems like a very easy pick. Originally in the game, he's actually a bronze, so he's going to need a pretty significant upgrade to feature, um, well, or to just at least, you know, have any desirability at all. Maybe, though, they could make him the Silver Star, which uh, could actually be quite a good option. We've also got Laborda, who's got five goals and assists combined for Stad René, who are having a pretty good tournament. This could actually be a very nice item, should he get, you know, an appropriate boost, too. So those are my predictions for the upcoming Team of the Group Stage promo let me know your thoughts on them in the comment section down below i'm sure there'll be plenty of conversation especially about my europa and uh, europa conference picks bear in mind we won't get many of them so uh, it really was a tough choice just to narrow it down just a you know a handful of them anyway as i say be sure to be active in the comments like comment subscribe all that good stuff thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one